Eric Jenkins, District 18, and I'm not really crazy about raising minimum wages because I think, quite frankly, that there's a natural wage out there, there's a natural wage ceiling, a natural wage floor. I think you talked about it with your mother's deli. She's paying more than minimum wage, and you're paying more than minimum wage. That is a minimum. Where does the government come off thinking that they can start telling, hey, I want you to pay your guy $30 an hour, and you're going to pay yours $25, and we're going to sit here, I'm the government, by God, I'm going to tell you what to do. And I, I got a little bit of a problem with that. I really do. It's a minimum wage. If that minimum wage is not acceptable to that person coming and applying for that job, then don't work there. And that guy's going to go belly up pretty quick because he's got no employees. So if that, if that's, the, that's the facts of life. If you really get out there in the marketplace, my kids, I've had, I've had to watch all of them go through the minimum wages and all that kind of stuff. I went through minimum wage. When I was going through college, I washed dishes and I mopped floors and all those good things to supplement because I don't have hundreds of thousands of dollars of student loans like all these guys are getting. I paid my way through. And you know, it needs to be a little bit of upward mobility. Yes, I'm all for that. I'm all for ways of getting that person from minimum wage up to their order to get a decent wage that supports their families and, and concepts and programs that will do that. But since you're saying, I'm going to pay you all this money to sit down at minimum wage level and never improve yourself, never do anything to move forward. That's kind of absurd, really. I think people need to have that motivation to move forward. And if you're just getting the money for sitting there doing that, I guess they're going to do that. I want people to move up.